Hello and welcome to another one of my videos and before I get into it I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who kind of watched my last video which went absolutely crazy. Um, I think I the last time I checked it, it had close to 2,000 views. Let's have a look. Nope, sorry it had 1,800 views which I'm usually doing about 200 to 300 views a video. So madness. You know, I, I didn't put it out to kind of show off. You know, I just wanted to give a bit of perspective to people. You know, most of the coin on the table is is slightly underwater in terms of what I paid. It's not a problem. You know, I've I've got people uh, messaging me today about buying some new stock. I just bought a a tenth <laughs> of all things. You know, I, I was really tempted to pick the tenth up and just make a video showcasing a tenth and see what people's reactions would be compared to the half a kilo video which I, I i'm pretty sure i know what would happen if like yeah it's just a tip you know and that's not the mindset it should be it should be uh people working towards a goal and people understanding that currency is trash it's not about the size of the stack really it's about the fact that you understand that money is going one way and you need to protect yourself against that so yeah before i before I open this up, some of you may know what this is. You, you may have worked it out. This is a very, very special thing for me. I haven't decided if I'm selling it yet, but before I get into it, if you do like my content, please support me. You know, I'm, I'm working really hard. I want to put out more educational content for you guys. I think there's a real space for people to learn about financial education. You know, I feel I can add to the topic along with other various YouTubers who are out there. Um, I feel I can give a different take on it due to the unique position I'm in as a as a gold dealer and a coin dealer. So if you do like my content, please support me. You can do that by liking, commenting and subscribing. If you do want to click on an ad that helps me out, you don't have to. It's one of those things. I monetized it so I could have some more time, hopefully, to put out the content that I want to. So let's get into this. So this is Convoy SL64. I have been after one of these for a while. I'm not sure if it's for sale. Comes in a nice box. Ooh, everyone loves a good box, especially cats. Thankfully, I don't have a cat, otherwise my stock would be trash. Oh, didn't pick that up very well. You may or may not have seen this before. So you can pick this up by the side, it's not a problem. This is a 10 ounce bar that was originally on the ASS as Gear Sopper. So for those of you that don't know the story, the, the Gear Sopper is probably one of the most famous versions. Oh, famous uh, stories from the war of shipwreck silver essentially the SS gear sopper was on its way home with cargo is that a privy mark <laughs> yeah the privy mark is oh, it's on the other side not really sure that's a privy mark uh, mintage 4,700 it's kind of kind of cute obviously it's in the box so yeah they made 4,700 of these ingots it is essentially it's just bullion but you don't pay for the metal content you pay for the backstory so yeah it went down with the SS gear sopper essentially the SS gear sopper was overloaded and to keep up the speed of the fleet it was burning more fuel than it could afford to. It then tried to go off and make way to Ireland and it was downed by a U-boat. And there was, I think it was pig iron, I think it was silver, I think it was tea. So essentially the the ship, the gas offer, it, um, it spent most of its life in around India and Australia. 
and it was called back home to help the war effort and it never made it home it wasn't commissioned as the gear software either i'm pretty sure like, i did a bit of research on this um i'm pretty sure the it was named after one of the main trading ports in India, or one of the main trading rivers in India, and it's meant to mean prosperity. It did have a, it was commissioned under a different name. Um, it was it was originally meant to be a ship for the UK uh, to be trading in and around the UK, and that never happened. It got taken over by another company, and then got sent to to another part of the world. But yeah, it it ended up just being sunk and a lot of the silver was sent to the bottom of the ocean. This was, it was then uh, put out to tender and it the company, I think the company kept like a royalty of the amount of silver they, they managed to pick up. So it's a shame there's nothing on the other side. But yeah, I think the company kept a royalty. And they end up making rounds and bars and and coins, you know. They I've seen the coins in one ounce format, I've seen them in quarter ounce format. The quarter ounce Brits are nice, they've got one of them on the side. So you've got ten ounce gear sopper bars that are big in America. But this here is more I think this is the best one out of all the bars you can buy. It comes with a sleek packaging, you know, and it's this is is nice. This is really nice. It's it's what you kind of expect a, a bar to be. I still don't think that's a privy mark. I'm sorry, uh, that's not a privy mark. <laughs> it's just not. But hey, it, it's a nice touch, but it's not a privy mark. I'm sorry. For those who saying, ah, oh, you can't touch it with your silver. It's it's my coin. It's my bar. I do what I want. And plus, I'm only touching the sides. It's not really, it's not really an issue. But uh, yeah, of all the different varieties of gear sopper, this one has always been the top of my list. Now, in terms of if I am selling it, I don't know. I think it's worth three fifty to four hundred pounds. I paid two eighty for it. I saw it popped up on another dealer, and it popped up with a twenty sixteen proof sovereign which i was highly annoyed about because i wanted to buy that as well and i just couldn't buy it someone else picked me to the post whilst i was on the phone uh the gentleman selling it was really apologetic and i just said to him, I was like, it's not it's not your fault but i did get these so i did get some spoils of war i guess which is is fine by me i'm i'll happily buy if I could buy these at 260, 270, I'd buy 10, I'd buy 20, you know, if I had the funds for me. And it's just a case of knowing that it will sell. I know it will sell if I want to move it. I do have another idea, another thing in mind for it. But we shall see because I started that project in July and I still haven't got it off the ground. And I just, I've just been thoroughly exhausted. You know, it's, I do too much. That's the bottom line. I, I've kind of been accustomed to a certain level of income, and I don't want to go below it. But hey, I'm, I'm hoping to launch that project soon. It does involve YouTube and the groups, and I think it's something that everyone will love. You know, it, it allows me to do the reading and writing that I've been craving for a long time. But yeah, tell me what you think of the bar. It's mainly been a talk today. Um, thank you for the support on the last video. If you can support me on this video, I'd, I'd be over the moon. So take care, guys. Bye.